In the last video, I showed how to set up an SSH port tunnel from Windows to Linux using PuTTY to send protocols from Windows over to Linux securely and encrypted over the SSH port tunnel. But what if you want to copy files from your Windows computer to your Linux computer and you want to do it securely? A good way to do that is use the SCP protocol or secure copy protocol, which is run over port 22 SSH. Secure copy protocol is really easy to use. All we need to do is download WinSCP on our Windows computer, a quick Google search for WinSCP and you'll find the download link to download the WinSCP client. Now on your Linux computer, you want to make sure that your SSH server is running. So you want to type in sudo service ssh and you could do a restart if you want. Restart your ssh server and you can see that it's running now or that I had it running and now I've restarted it. And now all I need to do is launch the winscp client on my Windows computer. So from Windows I launch my winscp client. I choose the protocol scp, secure copy protocol, put in the IP address that I want to connect to which is my Linux machine at 192.168.3.152. I'm connecting over port 22, my username, my password, and log in. The interface is very similar to FileZilla or to an FTP client. You've got your local computer on one side and then the remote computer that you're connecting to on the right hand side. So this is my Windows computer on the left. This is my Linux computer on the right. Notice if I double click on desktop, there's the hello world.txt file. You can see it here on the Linux computer, hello world.txt. If I want to copy a picture, let's say, to here, all I need to do is on my local computer, I'll go over to the desktop and I've downloaded a picture to copy over. There it is, server picks underscore one and just drag and drop it over. And now it's copied across and it's been encrypted. So it's a secure transfer. There's the file on the Linux computer. I can launch it and you can see it's a picture of a motherboard. So secure copy protocol is really, really useful. I can copy also from Linux over to Windows. I'll just go once again back to here. If I wanted to copy this hello world.txt file over to my Windows computer, it's as simple as a quick drag and drop. And there it is, hello world.txt. So really easy to use. Now all I need to do to close the connection is close WinSCP and the connection's closed. When you connect for the first time with WinSCP, you may be prompted to add the security certificate. I forgot to mention that. So when you launch the program for the first time and you connect to your Linux computer, you will be prompted to add the security certificate. Now, so far, all of the communication has taken place connecting from Windows to Linux, but you can also connect from Linux to Windows. For instance, in Windows, if I right click on computer and go to properties, you can see that on my Windows machine, remote settings, remote, I have remote desktop enabled and I'm allowing connections from computers running any version of remote desktop less secure. Okay, so I'm, a, I'm running remote desktop and I'm allowing connections to my Windows computer. So. From Linux, all I need to do is open up a terminal and I'll do a sudo app-get install our desktop. And our desktop has been installed. Now I'll need to know the IP address that I want to connect to. So let me open up a quick command prompt here in Windows and check my IP address with an IP config command. And right now my IP address is 3.87. So in Linux, all I need to do is type r desktop 
And you can see that I have a prompt to connect to my Windows computer. There's my username. All I need to do is put in my password and click go. And I'll have a remote desktop connection from Linux to Windows. I'm not going to do that now, but I could if I wanted to. Another thing that I want to mention before I close out my SSH labs is so far we've now talked about how to connect from one computer to the other and vice versa. But what if I just want to connect from a Linux computer to another Linux computer? If I wanted to do that, all I'd need to do, let's say that my Windows computer was also a Linux computer, is I would just type SSH and dash capital X for X Windows support and then the IP address or I'm sorry the username that I'm going to connect with so Dan at and then the IP address that I want to connect with so if my Windows computer was also a Linux computer I could just SSH with X Windows support username Dan at the IP address I want to connect with and all I'd need to do is put in my username and password, accept the security certificate, and I'd have an SSH connection with graphical Windows support. So I could launch a program like Gedit or Firefox or anything that required a graphical window.